I'm Ariana. And I'm Ruby. And welcome back to Show in the Know and Happy New Year. It's hard to believe a year ago, Ruby and I filmed our very first episode. We certainly did not know what to expect, and in fact, we didn't even really know each other at the time. But here we are, 30 episodes and 15 features later, ready to see what 2022 has in store for Lancaster and share it with you. While things may have gotten off to a little bit of a rough start this year, we here at So Good are optimistic about the coming months. So without further ado, let's get into what's happening in February. We kick off this month's events with Poppy's second annual Groundhog Day scavenger hunt. Hmm, this feels familiar. Every day of this new normal may feel like Groundhog's Day, but this week it actually is. Well, the tradition continues at Bill and Rue, where at 11 a.m. on Groundhog's Day, Poppy will give us her official verdict on winter. The festivities continue for First Friday, where Poppy will be sharing skincare tips at Blossom Med Spa. Then you can catch her at some of your favorite downtown businesses all weekend long, culminating in a brunch with Poppy at Zootropolis, where the lucky winner of the Groundhog Goodie Basket will be announced. Visit Acorn Acres Wildlife Rehabilitation Center's website for more information. Then it's everyone's favorite national holiday again, ice cream for breakfast day. Wow, the deja vu continues. You can head to Splits and Giggles bright and early at 7 a.m. or to Mises Candy starting at 7.30. I said it once and I'll say it again. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so you won't want to miss it. Looking for a fun night out? Iron Leg is hosting a 70s and 80s dance party on February 11th at The Village. All proceeds go to helping kids in need of prosthetics. This is a great cause and a fun way to kick off Valentine's Day weekend. Tickets can be purchased online for $25 or $30 at the door. Everyone over 21 is welcome. Visit Iron Leg Corp's website for more information and to purchase tickets. Bundle up and join Lancaster History on February 12th from 4 to 8 p.m. To gather around one of a dozen fire rings, share some s'mores with the one you love, and enjoy pop-up live music. With your purchase of a ticket, you'll receive admission to the event, a heartwarming bag of goodies, plus you will be supporting Lancaster History's education and public programs. After all, the best love stories are told by the fire. This will be their 18th annual Valentine's Day celebration, but for COVID reasons, they will not be having their usual dinner and dance gala. Grab your sweetheart, gal pals, or family and enjoy this fun and flavorful event. The Spread the Love Tasting Tour will take place at Kitchen Kettle Village from 10 to 1. Receive generous samples and personalized service, as well as bites of history around the village. You won't want to miss this sweet and delicious tasting package for food lovers of all ages. It makes the perfect Valentine's Day treat. The self-guided tasting experience includes special tastings at participating food shops and eateries throughout the village with special offerings just for you, a Valentine's themed gift bag with a passport and fun surprises, the opportunity to enter to win a village gift basket valued at over $75, and a festive Valentine's photo op spot to commemorate your fun morning. It's February and you know what that means. It's time for the Lidditz Fire and Ice Festival. They are keeping things COVID friendly again this year by spreading out the festivities. Throughout the 10-day celebration, they'll have all the fire and ice awesomeness you've come to expect, like wow-worthy ice sculptures, yummy food from the downtown restaurants, and on select days, your favorite local food trucks. Of course, there will also be plenty of shopping in the warmth of the downtown shops. But that's not all. Also new for 2022, a kid-focused day with activities and themed fun in the shops, a special maker's market day, their first ever photography exhibit highlighting iconic Lidditz images, and their unique version of a fire and ice themed pub crawl. You'll get a card listing all of the downtown Lidditz bars and restaurants featuring fire or ice themed drinks. Your job, sample the drinks throughout the week and then vote for your favorite. How cool is that? Join Lancaster Pride and One Love Project for a must-see drag show and brunch at Queen Street Bistro Sunday, February 20th from 10.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Featuring performances by all your favorite local queens, including Miss Lancaster Pride. This event includes a brunch plate selection from a menu, a vegan option will be available, and two drink tickets, Bloody Marys or Mimosas. This is a 21 plus event and all proceeds benefit Patients Are Waiting and will feature guest speakers from Patients Are Waiting. Want to learn more? They're actually our nonprofit spotlight of the month, so stay tuned to the end of this video. Head to the event right on the screen to purchase your tickets for this awesome show. February 25th and 26th, check out Mount Joy's Chocolate Walk. Here's how it works. You buy a ticket, which is really just an empty box from Main Street Mount Joy. On this box are the listings of places where you can get free chocolate goodies in downtown Mount Joy. You walk into a place, show them your box, and you get something chocolate for free. 
Then they mark off your box and you move on to the next location. The tour itself is an easy walk and only three blocks, so if you love chocolate, you will love this event. That sounds like heaven. It does sound pretty good. Continuing the theme of it being the sweetest time of the year, maple sugar time. Visit the Sugar Bush at Pavilion 11 in Lancaster County Park starting on February 26th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for interactive demonstrations of the syrup making process. Drop in any time during this free event as park naturalists share the history of production, tap sugar maple trees, boil sap in the sugar shack, finish the syrup, and make candy. Participants are encouraged to complete this one-of-a-kind experience with a taste of freshly made maple sugar candy. Patterson Farms will be on-site selling syrup and many other maple products. Groups are encouraged to schedule a private program for a small fee, but no registration is necessary. The events are free, however, donations are appreciated and allow the park to continue to provide high-quality environmental education programming. Visit their website for more information and other dates. Our nonprofit spotlight for this month is Patients Are Waiting. Patients Are Waiting is an initiative dedicated to eliminating health disparities by increasing diversity in medicine. Their three areas of focus are increasing the pipeline of minority clinicians, making the pipeline of minority clinicians less leaky, and supporting minority clinicians in practice. What began as a request to help recruit minority physicians to speak on a panel at Franklin and Marshall College has blossomed into an important initiative. Dr. Cherise Hamlin, Franklin and Marshall College alumna, Dr. Cherie Livingston, an OBGYN department chair, and Dr. Wendy Goodall McDonald, known on social media as Dr. Every Woman, have come together to formalize Patients Are Waiting. For more information and to make a donation, be sure to visit their website. And in case you missed it, there are still two more chances to go check out and support the Health Equity Lancaster Music Festival being held at Crispus Attics Friday, February 4th and 11th. You can catch live music and receive both COVID and flu vaccines, as well as information on resources available to the community. Visit healthequitylancaster.org for more information. Well, that does it for this month's episode of So in the Know. If you have an event in March that you'd like us to share, or if we missed something, make sure to shoot us a message on Facebook and stay connected with us on social media at So Good Lancaster. We look forward to keeping you so, so in, in the, the know. know. So in the Know is brought to you by The Candy Factory, a co-working and social club in Lancaster, PA. Find out more at coworkinginlancaster.com.